I talk a lot on this channel about Unify. As many of you know, I'm a big fan of their products. They work excellent, especially we love their access points and switches. But one of those things about Unify and their software is free to download. Their software defined network controller that manages all these devices is a free piece of software, but you do have to run it somewhere. You're responsible for the server it runs on. You're responsible for the hardware. You're responsible to maintain the updates on it. And that's fine. I don't have a problem doing this myself, but for some people, maybe they're looking for an easier way to do it. Now, I've helped people set this up in like DigitalOcean, Linode, and different places, or even Amazon, uh, wherever they want to run their own controller. Or you could in also look at getting a cloud key, which I just recently reviewed, which is also a great choice for the Unify software. It comes preloaded with there from Unify and has some automatic options. Then there's another option that I ran into, and it started out as me looking for an easy way to have everything from the Let's Encrypt Cert, um, auto account generation, and an easy way to manage clients. And we do run our own controller for our managed clients, but I wanted a way that we could, you know, basically like automate uh, the deployment of this. And it turned out that was a kind of a challenge to write. We started just, you know, uh, Looking at all, me and my friend Phil, who's been on a channel before, he's uh, expert at a lot of automation and design. You know, we've we seen some of the challenges in doing it, and we played around with some scripts. And I started doing the market research before you get into a product, and I came up with Hostify as one of the people already doing it out there. And I see people because I'm specifically talking about Riley Chase. And I won't spend too much time on this, but I'll leave a link to it. I think a lot about who runs the company and Riley did something that I kind of wish I would have done when I started my company back in 2003. He has blogged about the entire journey of starting a business from leaving his job to starting up his software as a service company, Hostify. And it's uh, kind of cool that he did all this. Like I said, this one of the things I found even more interesting was it wasn't just I found some company that was creating a software as a service product uh, called Hostify for the Unify Cloud Hosting. Uh, it's that he has the entire, including how much revenue comes in from there. This is not profit, this is revenue by the way, uh, for those of you wondering, but he talks about the costs of running a service, uh, the methodologies and the thoughts he has behind the service he runs. And I thought this was kind of a cool thing. And I also reached out to uh, Riley and we had some great conversation. He's definitely a very motivated, very innovative entrepreneur. Now let's go back to talking about the product itself. Launch Unify in the cloud. This is uh, pretty well done. I've been playing with this. I created the paid account. I created a free account and tested how each one gets created. Uh, he's spent a lot of time thinking about this and it's it's what I would have done. Uh, they have all the nice clean website with all the features and everything else on there. And the short answer is this will create a hosted multi-site Unify and automate all of the functions for you, including some to Let's Encrypt Cert, auto renewing the Let's Encrypt Cert, and creating uh, automatic updates for everything. So you don't have to say, oh no, there's another update. I gotta get around to doing that. That's all scripted and taken care of on the back end. Plus he provides support and help. And he's very much familiar sized himself with the way the database and the back end of Unify works. So that's been very interesting. So monthly, these are prices as of July, 2019. Prices can change. Uh, so always refer back to the website, not my video because the video becomes static, but uh, 125 devices at $19 per month, 250 at 29. It's not awful, and you get a yearly plan uh, for you know 15% discount. So the pricing on it is very reasonable. I know it's really cheap right now to spin up like a digital ocean droplet and put it in there, but you gotta remember what is your time worth because you have to maintain and update that. And we've run into people who we just had someone had a problem, they were numerous versions behind because they uh, didn't have it set up to properly update. They didn't have Let's Encrypt installed or anything, but all the updates and everything behind on. So if you want to have someone else take care of that, Hostify is a pretty cool option. And one of the other things I like, if you want to try it out for free, there's a free plan that does not require a credit card. That is something I think is really cool is, uh, Anytime a company lets you check out a free plan and not charging you any type of money. And what they what he did for the free plan was just set up a max one site or 25 devices. For home users wanting to get started with Unify, looking for a simple place to host it, can't go wrong. If you ever get bigger and want to expand to more than 25 devices, which probably is more than you'll have in your house, but who knows, uh, you will end up um, you know, buying a bigger plan. So everything else is pretty simple. Now, how does it work? How do you create it? Let's get over there and I'm going to show you what it looks like when it creates, including my password. 
And I say that because I wanted to actually show you the screen and how it creates. So uh, my free Unify site is done. I, I tried the paid one and deleted it, and then I tried the free one. They both uh, work. Just like I said, I walked through both steps on this. Uh, with the free one here, it, here's the launch. It actually gave me p01.hostify.net. So you get a prefix on there that's gonna be your inform URL, uh, the username I chose, and it generates a password, a temp password. As soon as you log in, it prompted me to change the password. But once you're logged in, for the most part, it's pretty much the same that you'll see for uh, Unify installation, with the exception of when you do the free one, uh, you're going to not have the multi-site option because that has been disabled. Uh, so those that's the one thing about the free one. There are some restrictions on there, but you still can add 25 devices. You just can't set up the multi-site version of it on there. Uh, so other than that feature being missing, the SSL is installed and we don't have a little red X, we actually have a proper valid certificate. So it's at P1 on Hostify, it's using Let's Encrypt, and it's all set to auto update, which is wonderful. Um, I set up a wireless network, and then I adopted this guy right here. So I have a Unify HD in there. Now it works fast, uh, so we'll go ahead and hit locate. And it pretty much instantly, if you can see it blinking, within, I don't know, was that one second, two seconds from the time I hit locate till the time it started making this blink. So the communications is really fast uh, to it and everything else. And it, you're done. It's a simple setup Unify controller. Now I will comment uh, and I'll leave a link to this, but if you don't know, I when you do a set and form on these, you do have to have your set and form URL and my inform URL would have been this uh, po1.hostify.net. So really straightforward to set up, really easy to spin this up. And I had adopted a couple devices, deleted them, adopted them. I was playing around with it. Um, it's snappy, it's fast, it was really trouble free. You know, the whole setup was like no problem at all. And uh, being here in my office, it notices all the other stuff, uh, all the other Wi-Fi networks. So was, like I said, going through the menus on here, it, it's actually quite a fast controller. So he's put the time into setting up the back end properly and everything else. And I did, you know, ask a lot of questions. I had a great conversation with him, and including, I want to know what he's using for payments and how is he handling it? How is he tokenizing the billing? He followed uh, best practice. Uh, everything was like, you know, set up with a Stripe back end. And those little things kind of matter to me when I'm, you know, before I put my credit card in on something. And I told him I was going to go ahead and stick my credit card in here and walk through the process because I don't like recommending a product uh, unless I've done a little bit of testing with it. So overall, my impressions of Hostify were, it's a simple solution for those people who go, I don't want to maintain any of this. Um, and maybe, you know, if we maintain it as a service for clients without giving them access to the control panel, like we do take over Wi-Fi for people to manage it. But there's those in-between people, those home users or even small businesses, they go, you know, I kind of want my own dashboard and uh, paying a few dollars a month to have someone else update and maintain all this infrastructure for me. That'd be great. And I tell you, for some of them, I, I'm going to really recommend this to at least a handful of uh, people that are one-off because every time they call us, they're way out of date. There are a lot of versions behind. And uh, I try to recommend, please keep all these things up to date. Uh, if you're not going to pay us, at least, you know, this is a good happy in between, I think, for people who want to maintain and have their own dashboard and have something auto update. Uh, full disclosure, I do have, but you're not required to use it at all. An offer code that does help out the channel on, on our affiliates page for Hostify, and I'll leave a link uh, below in this video. But my overall impressions are it's a, it's a neat service. I want to look at some of the other services that he's offering because he's got some cool concepts. Uh, he's really trying to build the business up. And if you are just an entrepreneur in general and want to read about some of the entrepreneurial process, uh, he's got some good write-ups in there. You know, even myself, a longtime business owner, I was like, oh, cool. This is, I almost like wish I would have started in 2003 talking about uh, my entrepreneurial Apparel and endeavors and experiences because there's always a lot of lessons learned when you're very open about things and hopefully you know you don't make some of the mistakes that uh, you make when you're a new entrepreneur I mean I that mistakes are not just mistakes they're often expensive mistakes and some people don't survive some of those mistakes when starting a business uh, so far he's doing well I, I'm excited and it's cool that he keeps posting every month how much recurring revenue how about the goals he's got set I think these are kind of cool things about the openness uh, and he's very responsive so I had questions about a few things and he, he's very, uh, replies right away to sort things out. So I'm already got the impression that you get really good support on this. A few people I've seen uh, talk about reviewing this uh, and have asked me about it. That's the other reason I'm reviewing this is it seems like a pretty good service. And after speaking with him, reading through his blog post and everything, I, 
I, everything I like it about. It may not be something I personally use because we manage our own controller, but for those people who go, you know, I want to have a dashboard and want to auto update, I think it's a great value. And like I said, I have an affiliate offer. We always have actually a lot of affiliate offers. I want to bring that up. Uh, ways to keep this channel as minimal amount of ads and sponsored uh, placements as possible. By the way, this is not at all sponsored. I just reached out to Tim's. I thought it was a cool product, but we do have an affiliate link, so full disclosure. But we have a few other things we have affiliate links for too. So if you want to uh, run it yourself in Lino, or uh, Digital Ocean, we have that, and we have an Amazon affiliate link if you want to buy the products through our link. It always does help out the channel. I do appreciate it. But um, yeah, that's my thoughts on Hostify. I thought it was a neat product, and I wanted to share that with you guys. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to this channel to see more content, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, and maybe YouTube will send you a notice when we post. If you want to hire us for a project that you've seen or discussed in this video, head over to lawrencesystems.com where we offer both uh, business IT services and consulting services and are excited to help you with whatever project you want to throw at us. Also, if you want to carry on the discussion further, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can keep the conversation going. And if you want to help the channel out in other ways, we offer affiliate links below which offer discounts for you and a small cut for us that does help fund this channel. And once again, thanks again for watching this video and see you on next time.